head down. Um, right, well, when I first went in, there was over 100 people arrested with me. And so it was like we were like one of the biggest gangs in the jail. There's a character out of my book called Wild Man who's from England. And he could fight, you know, so he looked out for me when I first went in. And when I was separated from my co-defendants, um, the guys that I was writing about in my blog, because it was getting in the news, they all started to get letters and books sent to them from people from all over the world. So they started protecting me and looking out for me as well, because they thought that was, you know, it became like a bridge to the outside world for all of us. One of the guys who was protecting me was a guy called Two Tonys. He was an Italian mafia mass murderer who left dead bodies from Tucson to Alaska. But he claims they all had it coming because they were rival gangsters. So he didn't see anything wrong with that. And I wrote, I used to sneak into his cell every day writing his life story and we put his blogs on the internet. And he was probably like one of the most popular of the people who was writing about with the, with the readers. So he was getting all these books and letters and he thought it was the coolest thing in the world. You know, a teacher out of Singapore could write to him and ask him about his mafia life. So I'd say that Having alliances with the right people help me. I try to stay away from the gang stuff and all that. You can be independent, you don't have to join a gang. To join a gang, you've got to commit these acts of violence to earn these tattoos, and they called me a blankie because I had no tattoo. So I tried to turn it into the educational opportunity of a lifetime. I never read novels before prison. I was told reading would improve my writing. I read about a thousand books while I was in there. Went on this fantastic journey through literature. Wake up start reading and just until my brain's aching and my eyes are singing and so my English has helped me you know they, they would ask me you know, if I knew the Spice Girls and if I knew the Queen and I'd play along with it <laughs> my sister happened to go dancing school with Sporty Spice so <laughs> that helped me and um, believe it or not I actually had guards and prisoners on separate occasions ask me what language do they speak in England <laughs> yeah, but they look at the English 